hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you guys we really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country reno omokri gives reason for America's rejection of Okonje Iwela's bid for the post of World Trade Organization's leader. We know Reno Mokri, um, the former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, has been very active of late, speaking regarding different things, regarding hashtag NSARS and all of that, criticizing President Mohamed Buhari's administration very well. And also he has lended his voice and he has given a shocking reason he has revealed, made a shocking revelation why, the Ameri why America is actually rejecting um, Okonje Ewelas and Bid in spite of all the support that she has gotten so far. We'll bring you all of the details shortly, guys. But before we do, my people, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, if you've been following Peak Media for a while now and you still haven't given us a thumbs up, guys, what are you waiting for? Show us some love. Do go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Sam. thank you once again. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. It is no longer news that the United States of America has openly shown its disapproval against Nigerians' bid for the post of the Director General of the World Trade Organization, bearing in mind the formidable status of Nigerians' contestant for the prestigious post. American stiff resistance has raised a lot of eyebrows. Dr. Ungozi Okonjo Iwela, Nigerians' former Minister of Finance and Economics, and world-renowned development expert has a huge worth of experience. Despite her pedigree and contributions to the world economic reforms, the U.S. government has refused to bait an eyelid over its stance. To this end, popular social media influencer, writer, philanthropist, has revealed the possible reason for U.S. rejection on Nigerians' candidates. He disclosed the issue is closely linked to the United States of America's general election. Renault Mokri noted that the U.S. rejection has nothing to do with competency. He stated that about 1.8 million South Koreans reside in the U.S., while just a fraction of about 380,000 Nigerians live in the United States of America. This makes the population of South Korean residents in the U.S. to be much more than that of Nigerians. He urged people to do the math, insinuating that after the elections, U.S. will change its stance. Recall that a statement issued by the Office of the U.S. Trade Representative, Robert Litizia, disclosed its preference for South Korean's candidates. In its statement, U.N. agency was in their need of reform, which must be driven by someone with real hands-on experience. The federal government of Nigeria, under the Mohamed buhari led administration, had earlier on thrown its weight behind Dr. Ungozi Okoje Iwela. The 55-member African Union lent its voice to her bid by officially supporting her over the remaining sole opponent, Yo Mongu He of South Korea. A group of Caribbean and Pacific countries have also given her a firm support. Given her precedence, capacity, and experience, one wonders why the United States of America has bluntly refused to support her bid. Meanwhile, in spite of the open opposition of Donald Trump's led administration, the Nigerian government has pronounced to back Dr. Ungozi Okoje Iwela in her bid to put Nigeria on the world map. So, guys, uh, we, uh, uh, politics... Is everywhere. They play politics everywhere. So let's not feel that it's only in our country that um, they play politics. It's just that um, sometimes they, they, they are, why our case is different is that the politics they play in our country, that one affects um, the citizens directly because there are no, no checks, no laws. I mean, no, they are above the law and which is not meant to be. They are not meant to be above the law. The president is not meant to be above the law. 
Governors are not meant to be above the law. Senators are not meant to be above the law. Anyway, guys, uh, um, um, Okoji Uwela, Nigerians know very well that she's someone with a lot of experience. She's got a lot of experience in her sleeves. And um, a lot of persons are, have been routing for her. But surprisingly, surprisingly, the U.S., still uh, uh they still stand their ground to reject uh, her being uh, appointed uh, as the uh the, the the head of the world trade uh, organization so uh reno mockery <laughs> just shine the light just in case you haven't noticed reno mockery stated that do the math yourself in america over about 1.8 million south koreans they, they live in in the U.S. So if we do this very well, and let's recall that uh, um, the United States election is just um, in a couple of weeks, not long to go. So all of this has got, uh, it's got everything to do. It's very well connected with um, Donald Trump's um, re-election. He wants to come back on a second term. That is why all of these politics are being played. The Nigerians in the U.S., very small percentage as compared to uh, um, South Koreans um, in the U.S., Nigerians, it's been stated that um, Nigerians in the U.S. are about um, 380,000. But the surprising thing here that has been revealed as well, that all of this that uh, um, Donald Trump is doing, come after the end of the election, when he wins, that he will change his stance. He's only doing all of this. All of these are just politics related, all of politics. That's why they are, he's pushing. He's pushing for the Korean um, um, lady to actually win. You can imagine what that would do to his um, presidential uh, bid if uh, he pushes a support for this Korean lady, Mo Young-hee of South Korea, to win what um, she would do with the 1.8 million Koreans that reside um, in the U.S. Anyway, guys, this is uh, um, Renault Mokri insinuating that he believes that so far so good, everyone supporting Okoje Owela and all of the um, contributions she's made to the economy, to different nations. Donald Trump is still um, resisting that this is very much the reason. Guys, if you've got a different school of thought, like I said, all of these are Renault or Mokri's um, insinuations that this is the reason he feels um, Donald Trump is a um, Back is standing against her. Let's hear your own take um, down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. We really appreciate you. So my people, please, if you still haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.